So it's the end of the day, you have about 30 minutes left, it's not worth to start a new task. What should you do? So in this video series, we cover questions from people on Stack Overflow and Workplace Stack Overflow, where questions arise around the workplace, uh, office culture and how to behave and how to react in certain situations. I'm going to give you a quick rundown of one question in every video. So today's question is how do I deal with the 30 minute remaining problem? So somebody on Workplace Stack Overflow is asking what he should do if he has about 30 minutes left in his day and is trying to leave office at around 5 or 6 or whatever and it's not really worth to start a new task and he says if he starts programming on a new feature or starts implementing a, a new function or whatever um, he has a harder time picking up where he left off the next day. So a couple of ideas how I tend to handle those situations. First of all, those natural stopping points he's talking about, or he's, he's referring to, where you just finish implementing a function or you finish with some testing, um, it's, they're not that important. Uh, I made the experience that if I stop in the middle of a task, so in the middle of implementing a function, um, it is true that I have a hard time picking, picking it up uh, the next day, but I tend to write two or three comments um, where I say this is where I left off, this is what I have to do next and then maybe I start working on uh, some documentation comments. So that has two advantages. First of all, the next day you will exactly know where to pick up and second of all, you're already writing some documentation which at some point you have to do anyways. So then it definitely makes sense to sometimes stop at a natural stopping point, so after finishing a smaller task. Um, there are still a couple of things you can do in those 30 minutes. First of all, uh, you could write your manager agenda, where if you have um, one-on-ones with your manager every week, every second week or every quarter, uh, it makes sense to document the work you're doing. So. I handle this in a, in a Word document where I have some bullet points and uh, some sections where I outline very, very concise and very short um, stuff that I did. So I will write down what the project status is I'm working on, uh, what challenges we faced and what's maybe blocking us. Again, this is two advantages. First of all, your manager will be happy to learn in detail what exactly you did and what learnings you had. And on the other hand, it's uh, for you some sort of a, of a history, of a backlog. So when in a half a year, in a year or two years, you want to look back, maybe uh, because you want to negotiate a promotion or negotiate salary, you can go back, you can show your boss uh, all those work logs, so to say, and you can argue, you did this, you did this, you achieved all kinds of stuff, and this is why you should get the promotion or get a salary raise. So then the third point, uh, definitely what we, what we all do is surf on the web. Of course, uh, you, can, you can check pages like Stack Overflow or whatever. And lastly, I would definitely recommend just go home, go home early. And you, there will be days where you have to work longer hours. So don't stress too much about having, uh, having to leave 30 minutes earlier it's not that important, right? There will be days where you have to stay an hour or two or three more longer. So don't waste your time there just waiting until the clock runs out.